look what I've got it's my free magazine it's free from Radio Beijing now known, now known as China Radio International it comes out every quarter lovely glossy magazine it's always full of interesting things I get it sent to me every quarter for nothing for the past 25 years there's those warriors the stone warriors or whatever they're called yes it's a nice picture lots of good articles there's usually art articles sport articles for people interested in sport which I'm not but there's all there's film reviews sometimes there's colored pictures everywhere articles and there's a nice piece of sculpture for example a bit of bra a brass sculpture there there's always interesting things it's about chi if you're going to China or no Chinese people are interested in Chinese culture there's pictures of history and landscapes. There's some beautiful peaches, for example. That's a picture that appeals to me. Um, about the languages, countryside. All for free, mind you. And the magazine just gets better all the time. Every year it gets better. Better photography and better production values. Mountains, uh, historical articles about their architecture and buildings and things. All sorts of things. It's just excellent. I've got it for you. I've enjoyed it for years and years. They have competitions too. It's related to their uh, shortwave radio, but they still send it to people who are interested. All their buildings and cities. Lovely magazine. I found some interesting articles on puppetry, children's puppetry, for example, that interested me today in this magazine. There's one about martial arts, martial arts and some sort of kicking or something, whatever whatever you call those martial arts. Here we are, puppetry workshop, look at that. Puppetry workshop with kids. There's another one on archery, some people would like that. Archery, it's a lovely magazine, glossy and slippery. I can feel how slippery the pages are. I like this article about painted shoes, for example. That's a good one for an artist, painted shoes. Painted shoes, if you use fabric paints, so you could do a sand shoe like that. Beautiful hand-painted shoes. Yes, hand-painted shoes. Article about interesting Chinese people. Here's a literature article about the dream of the red mansions. I've also heard it called the dream of the red chamber. So that's a famous Chinese story, isn't it? Yes, this is my uh, re magazine review. An article about ladies, a bookshop especially for ladies, sort of feminist sort of bookshop for Chinese ladies. An article about HIV people in China. Something about hockey playing. Mm, so many good articles. Bollywood, films. Juggling, an article about juggling. Mm, people riding bikes across China. So many lovely things and all the people on the radio, Radio Be Beijing, China Radio International. If you want a copy of this lovely magazine that comes out every quarter, you must email, uh, where are they? Email to crieng at cri.com.cn. That's crieng at cri.com.cn. Or you can write to them at their English service, CRI. 16A Xi Jing Shan Road, Beijing, China, 100040. And Xi Jing Shan is spelt S H I J I N G S H A N Road. But it would be easiest just to email them at their uh, China Radio International uh, website or go to their website. It's a lovely magazine and it's so glossy and it's free what more can i say and you'll learn all about china it's lots of fun too see ya that's another thing i won a, i won a prize in one of their competitions i run i won a beautiful embroidered tablecloth and i gave it to my uh, adopted chinese nieces you know for their little chinese uh for their chinese uh, section of their house it was beautiful see you for now